Hey guys, what's up? This is G-Rat here, and today I want to talk to you guys about the plugin called G-Tune, which is now a part of the Sibiac family and makes an accessible guitar tuner for the blind for recording purposes. Um, G-Tune is a completely free plugin, and as is Sibiac, a completely free add-on for NVDA. So the neat thing about this is this gives the blind people the ability to have an actual accessible guitar tuner integrated directly into their studio because G-Tune is a free VST plugin. Um, so in order to use this, all you have to do is download and install G-Tune into the appropriate folder with your VST plugins and load CBAC as an NVDA add-on and you will be able to simply run into G-Tune and go from there. So let me show you guys how to do the G-Tune installation so that way you guys know exactly what to do. Alright, so I'm going to go to my downloads because I've already NVDA downloaded it. I will make a downloads link in the folder or in the description for both Sibiac and G-Tune so that way you'll be able to find everything. So... File Explorer. Document. Download. Items view list. G-Tune win 64, 6 of 12. Alright, so it's a... And whenever you get it, it'll be a zip file. So what you'll do is you'll extract it. G-Tune win 64, 1 of 12. And when you do, you'll come up with a folder, which will be the first option in this downloads list. Items view list. GBST license 2 of 2. GTune.dll one of two. So you'll find the DLL file in the folder. So you're going to copy the DLL file. Desktop list. And then Duval you're going to go to file explorer, devices and drive. Wherever your VST program files are, or your VST plugin folder is. For me, it's in program files because I have a 64-bit version. It's in program files under Steinberg VST plugins. So that's where I'm going to go. Per logs for program files five of eleven. Item Steinberg four. Items selected. Date these plugins one of one. And then items view list. I will post. I will paste the plugin in here, and then once I do that, it'll allow me the ability to already have it That's in here. So it's not gonna desktop list. Ask me if I want to paste it, but I already got it in there. So um, it'll ask you to continue with administrative rights, and you're gonna want to do so. And then you're going to open up Reaper. Recycle bin three. If you already have Sibiac installed from a previous usage or anything like that, then you're good to go there. Um, in order to install NV Sibiac is really simple. Um, in fact, I'll show you how Recycle to do bin. that too. Be, File explore. Desktop. Doc, download. You'll go to wherever you download the Sibiac, which for me is in the same. Sibiac.0.16. Sibiac.0.17B111012. Okay, then you're going to go to the Sibiac. Download. Just hit add on installation dialog. Hit enter. No button. Yes button. Alt plus Y. You're going to install the NVDA add-on. And I'm going to get an update request, so don't stress Add-on installation dialog. You're no button. Alt. Yes button. Alt plus Y. Installing add-on dialog. Please wait while restart NVDA dialog changes. Were and made you're going to restart. Okay, so once NVDA restarts, CBAC is ready to go. So I'm going to close this, and we're going to start a new project in Reaper. Recycle bin. Reaper. Reaper initializing. So now we got Reaper starting up, and I'll show you how to use G-Tune, and I'm going to go ahead and use Guitar Rig, because Guitar Rig is also Sibiac accessible as well. So let me go ahead and set up a track with the Control plus T command, track name edit. and I'm going to give it a name, Guitar. Track view. One guitar, zero items. And I'm going to arm the track for recording, and then I am going to actually go about um, setting up G-Tune. Armed. So now that I got it armed. Normal. Con track in track auto in in input. Stereos input. US US one eight unsaved project. Okay, now I have the track armed and ready for recording. So let's go ahead and um, bring up the effects dialog, which is just simply the F key. Direct, X, FX, add FX. Now I brought up that context menu with the applications key, and I went to input. And since everybody's interface is different, you might have to pick a different input. But for me, it was input nine. So, so now that I have my effects brought up, I am going to first load G Tune. So I'm just type in G Tune. List one list. VST G Tune G VST one of one. FX, and then track one guitar dialog. load that in. Okay, now I got G Tune loaded. Remove button. Add button. Now, since I want to use Guitar Rig, I'm gonna go add ahead and load that in as well. List one, VST Guitar Rig five native instrument. Dialog. List one. Okay, now I'm gonna pick VST G Tune G VST one of two. G Tune. And I'm gonna go down to 
Edit multi button. Zero plus button. Perm button. Two and two out button. UI button. Enable checkbox check. The checkbox. And now where I would normally have to hit the right arrow key, I can simply now just tab into the direct directly into the window. Add button. So let's go ahead and get FX. that going. I had to sometimes um, remind myself that um, due to the fact that I have an applications key mod, sometimes the mod will interfere with me being able to use Sibiac properly. So keep that in mind. It, for me, it's a little Remove bit different. Button. Zero point one percent. Two no signal. Okay, so now I'm been brought into the menu. So as you can hear, it says no signal. No signal. Whenever I hit enter, but I can tab. Reference frequency four hundred and forty hertz. You can change the frequency. Edit. Selected four hundred and forty. G tune four hundred and forty hertz. GBST G tune copyright Graham Yen. Two no signal. Okay, so I hit enter and I hit no. I hear no signal. Now the way this works is you will tune and then you will hit enter to check where your note status is and i have my guitar tuned up set up and ready to go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit the e string and we're going to see where it's at e plus five e plus four e plus eight e plus three e plus three e plus three so it's a little sharp so i'm going to back it down just a touch so let's see where that puts it e plus three e plus three E plus three. Didn't change it, so let's keep it going. E plus six. E plus two. E plus three. E plus two. E plus two. So you can see it's slowly, it's pretty precise. So you got to be a little cautious. E plus one. E plus one. Now it's probably going to be a little negative. No signal. E plus one. E plus zero. E minus one. E plus zero. No signal. E plus zero. E plus zero. Okay, so now that my E is in tune, let's check the A string. A plus one. A plus one. It's plus one, so bring it just ever so slightly down. A plus one. A plus one. Not enough. A plus one. A plus zero. A plus one. A plus zero. Close. You can see it's kind of switching because it's it's a so precise. A plus one, a plus zero, a plus one, a plus one. Now a plus one and plus zero is kind of close. You know, minus one, plus one, and zero. No signal. A plus zero, a plus one, a plus zero, a plus zero, a plus zero. Okay. E plus zero. E plus zero. A plus three. A plus one. A plus three. A plus zero. A plus zero. A plus one. Okay. Still just a slight bit sharp. Not by much though. No signal. A plus zero. A plus zero. A plus zero. Perfect. Okay, now let's go to the D string. D plus one. D plus one. D plus one. D plus one. Not quite. D plus two. D plus one. D plus one. Now it's probably going to be a lot more flatter than it should be. D plus zero. D plus zero. D plus zero. Okay. D's in tune. Let's check the G string. <laughs> G plus three. G plus three. Alright, so it's a little sharp. Let's fix that. G plus two. G plus two. G plus two. Okay. Keep going. G plus one. G plus one. G plus one. G plus one. G plus zero. G plus zero. Okay. Now let's check the B string. B plus two. B plus two. A little sharp, so let's fix that. I think the reason it's sharp is because of my testing. I have my guitar a little too quiet. B plus three. B plus two. B plus two. B plus two. B plus one. Okay, we're gonna get this tuned. B plus one. B plus one. B plus one. Still a little sharp. No signal. B plus one. B plus one. 
Still a little sharp. B plus two. B plus one. B plus one. Now it should be flat. No signal. B minus 32. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> I turned it way down just to make sure that it was not catching. B minus 32. B minus 23. B minus 24. B minus 8. B minus 9. B minus 9. B plus 1. B plus 3. B plus 1. B plus 0. B plus 0. B plus 0. Alright, cool. Now let's check the high E. E plus 1. E plus 0. E plus 0. E plus 1. Just a slight bit sharp. Not too much. Just a bare twist of the knob should fix it. E plus 1. E plus 0. E plus 1. E plus 1. E plus 1. E plus 1. Still a little sharp. E plus 1. E plus 2. E plus 0. E plus 0. E plus 0. Okay. But I do have a 7 string, so let's get this low A tuned. A minus 1. A minus 4. A plus 11. A plus 3. A plus 9. A plus 10. This A is really sensitive. A plus eight. A plus five. Don't mind the welcoming committee, aka the dogs in the background. A plus five. A plus one. A plus zero. A plus one. A plus one. Okay. Just ever so slightly turn it. A plus three. A plus one. A plus zero. A plus one. A plus zero. A plus zero. A plus zero. All right. Now I have a seven string that's fully tuned. By the way, I'm in drop day tuning, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> All right. Now that I have G tune situated, let's Unsafe project exit reprieve. out of that. Now let's go find me a preset that I'll be happy with in Guitar Rig. So let's bring up the effects again. VS, edit multi-line. List one, VST, G tune. VST, Guitar Rig 5, Native Instruments, GMBH, 2, Edit multi lock button, 0, plus button, perm button, 2 slash 4, in, UI button, enable checkbox check. And by the way, I always maximize my windows just for safety. Guitar Rig dialog. Now I got current preset empty. So there's no preset, so let's List find tag, something no, so I want. New and G, GR mix, guitar amps, bass amps, styles. Let's go to styles. List sub tag, no select, ambient. Tag, tab over to the next option. Ambient. Alternative. Blues. Classic rock. Country. Okay, let's go to country. List group no selection. List preset no selection. Country twang clean. Okay, let's go to country the twang clean. Okay, now let's see what we got. how you do it and that is g tune and guitar rig 5 might as well cover that while we're here and you can do this comp twang crunchy comp twang crunchy now you're probably also hearing a little bit of the actual clean guitar tone because of the way i got my rig set up so keep that in mind Well, this is G-Rad signing out saying I hope you guys enjoyed what you have witnessed today. And again, I will post uh, links to the pages regarding Sibiac and G-Tune 
in the description and if you have any further questions or comments feel free to leave them down below and i will talk to you soon take care and i'll see you in the next video peace